Uh, when he was um, like, he, he born like a normal child, but when he was 18 months old, like other autistic children, like, you know, he stopped speaking and he stopped making eye contact. And uh, then he was diagnosed with autism. And uh, how old was he? How old was he? Well, he was 18 months old, like, you know, when we start noticing the changes. Um, and that's how, like, you know, we start looking into the things, like, you know, if there is anything available. So over the years, like, you know, we have different treatments for him, like speech and language, um, applied behavior analysis, which is called ABA. Uh, and then we, we, we heard about this clinic, like, you know, stem cell therapy, like, you know, so we wanted to give it a try. And that's how, like, you know, we came last year uh, to give him uh, the stem cell therapy. And this is our second time. I would like to get back to the point when you mentioned about symptoms. Can you elaborate a little bit more how it was manifested during the day, just to understand uh, how it was? So, Abdulaziz was like, you know, he was very happy. He is still a very happy child, but he was not understanding the very simple commands like come here, sit down. He was not making any eye contact at all. Um, his understanding was like you know was not at all like you know he couldn't understand like you know the difference between um like you know this is clean water this is dirty water or to stop like you know he often like you know when we say like you know that no don't do this like you know he was very upset about it um but uh when we had this stem cell therapy we we did see a lot of changes in him mm -hmm. a lot of improvement uh can you tell us about improvements after the first first treatment after the first treatment, we did see a lot of changes. Uh, the most important changes that we see is his understanding. So he was understanding a lot. He was able to um, uh, understand the commands, like, you know, that come here, sit down. Do you want some food? He was making the choices between two things, like, you know, do you want apple? Do you want orange? Um, and uh, he was pointing out things like, you know, which one does he want? And also like, you know, his eye contact was much better improved. One of the biggest improvement I would mention here that he was not able to sit down and do his work in a classroom. But we've seen that he could able to sit down and he could manage to do his work. Like, you know, if we could sit down for maybe for half an hour or something. But before he can't able to sit down even for a few seconds, he was just running around. But now, like, you know, he can, he can sit quietly, calmly and do his work. Mm -hmm. And when have you noticed improvements after the treatment? Um, I think in the first three months, we have seen a lot of improvement. During first three months or after three months? Um, the first three months after the treatment, mm -hmm. we have seen a lot of improvement. Mm -hmm. But then because of the speech and language and ABA therapy, it was also going side by side, like, you know, it gives him a little bit more push. Mm -hmm. uh, and can you please tell me about the process of the treatment? How was your first time? How was it? How it, how it was for the first time? Um, yes, the process of treatment. Um, yeah, I would like to explain about the process of treatment because it's really, really important. Um, when we had first consultation with the doctors, he explained everything to us that how the treatment will work and uh, what would be different treatments they will be offering us. And when we came to the clinic, also the doctors we saw who took us the history, like, you know, about Abdulaziz and everything, he explained everything very beautifully. Like, you know, um, I was I was a little bit worried, like, you know, how the things are going to be happen, but I was feeling so much relaxed because he explained everything, each and every process in, 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 in proper detail manner, like, you know, that uh, what will be the, uh, what will be the different kind of stem cells, how they are going to give it to Abdulaziz and uh, what changes we will see. And there was always like, you know, parents always ask one question like, you know, is one treatment enough? And they always said, it depends on the child. Some children needs one treatment and some children needs more than one treatment. Mm -hmm. And uh, was it how did your child respond on the infusions, canila, needles and stuff like that? So again, like, you know, there's a big difference in the first treatment and the second treatment. So the first treatment, 
when he had first infusion he was uh, we have to give him sedation uh, because he he saw everything for the very first time like cannulas and everything so it was a little bit difficult he's very very visual he was non verbal as well so it was very difficult to explain that look this is the cannula and we are going to put that cannula in the infusion is going so we have to sedate him but once he had this cannula the second treatment was superb like another you know, second treatment uh, went very well because for the second treatment we didn't sedate him with this time he was more aware so because he was more understanding he's more understanding the commands like you know so we when when we show him the pictures from the previous like you know this is the cannula and this is the infusion so he was understanding more so he had the cannula without any effort he had the infusion without any sedation and that is i think that is a very big achievement let's get to the point when you mentioned that you've tried a lot of things mm-hmm. before trying stem cell treatment um, how did you come up with the idea of trying stem cells um so we were just looking for any trial treatment like you know anything because um we know that there is no treatment uh, for autism that we could say like in you know, that can give the 100 percent recovery so we were looking for anything that can be done on trial basis and uh, that's how we come across the stem cell therapy and what have you heard or what have you seen about stem cells that you decided to to give a try so we we know that there's there are trials doing on the stem cells so the same thing we just wanted to give it a try mm-hmm. so have you have you got any uh concerns uh, obstacles Uh, about stem cells no mhm no. let me see what else i would like to ask i don't know concerns you means like uh, oh i want to mention another thing like you know i mm-hmm. think this is very important if i could mention it mhm um that when we were coming for the second time mm-hmm. so we had a consultation done with one of the senior doctors mhm uh from here okay Uh, so I think I want to mention that one. So when we were coming for the second time, so we have a, a consultation done with the with the senior doctors, and uh, she explained everything. Like you know, because because this was our second time, so we have few many questions. Like you know that how this treatment work again? What would be difference between the first treatment and the second treatment? And why didn't the treatment work hundred percent first time? So she answers all of our questions, and that's how like you know that. we were quite satisfied with that treatment that yes we need to come back again for this treatment out of all the options available why did you choose swiss medica for your treatment um well i don't think so there's much options available mm-hmm. so that's why we came here okay yeah. uh would you like to say something something additional if, if you want to say something you feel free to say anything you yeah. want um I found the whole system here is very organized from the doctor staff from the nurses to the doctors to the administration staff and to their kitchen staff everyone is very supportive they are very helpful um if you ask anything like you know they have uh, so much time to give you and answer all your questions completely and uh, they have so much understanding about everything um so i would i would really recommend like you know this place yeah it's it's a good place like you know from the administ i don't know like you know what to say <laughs> from administration point of view or something yeah know. yeah it's clear yeah like um like not the treatment itself but like you know other things like you know because if you go somewhere like you know and uh, people are more welcoming mm-hmm. i don't know what i understand i don't yes, know what, yes. what i don't know how to put it in words um probably service probably yes yeah the service is very good here yeah 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 uh-huh. because if you go somewhere like you know you're not only look it's not like you know you go and they give you injection and that's it like you know and you come back home like you know somebody have some time to talk to you somebody like you know uh put you at ease and 
this is what I wanted to mention it, but I don't know how to put it in proper words. But Maybe. it's clear, yes, it's it's it's, it's quite clear. It, it, it's it, you don't need to do something extra okay, to explain. Okay. Many many patients before coming to our clinic, uh, they do they didn't know about the existence of country Serbia. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why they afraid of they go, go to Google. They afraid of oh, it's probably it's uh, there is a war or there is a it's a dangerous country and stuff like that. A lot of a, lo a lot of rumors about the Serbia, of course, like about each country. Have you got any fears concerns about coming to Serbia specifically? I don't think so. There is um, we, we got any concerns about coming here. Um, and because this is our second time, we didn't come across any of like, you know, um, we, we didn't hear anything and we are very, very happy with the services. And I think the Serbian people are lovely, like, you know, they are very good. Um, so we didn't come across with anything that could worry us, like, you know.